All right, so we're out on my dad's property doing some grading and wanted to show you how we hooked up our wellhead temporarily so we can get some water pumping. So there's our wellhead way over there and it's still wired up to the breaker panel right there. And it used to go to that big metal holding tank, but that's out of order, the pipe's broken. So what we did, instead of having a float valve in the in the uh, holding tank, we installed the manual on off switch here on this control box. And then the output, we hose clamped a, uh, it's just a pool discharge hose, just a, a two inch hose. Comes over here. And it goes up and in to our IBC intermediate bulk container, or whatever they're called, 275 gallon uh, container. And then over here, we have a Harbor Freight pump. This is their uh, clean water pump with a pressure tank on it. And it pumps up to about 50 PSI and then kicks off and then waits for it to drop down to about 30 PSI and then kicks back on again. So it's coming out of the tank right there. We have a check valve there up to the inlet of the pump head. And then uh, it uses air pressure and a, and a rubber diaphragm in there to keep the pressure going. And then we just have it right out to a hose, hose spigot. And that goes out to our hose so we can try to keep the dust down while we're doing some grading and dirt work. Anyways, wanted to show that setup. For anybody, you know, give people ideas for anybody who might be needing to hook up a pump to a inter intermediate bolt container, a, a, a tote, and how we did it. That was the easiest way to do it was to get one of these rubber fittings and then go from a two inch to a one inch PVC. And that way it just hose clamps on, piece of cake, one inch check valve. There you go. That's it.